Find peace and strength in God's presence. Powerful Christian prayer for you. In the turbulent seas of life where storms often arise unexpectedly, there is a call that reverberates through the chaos, softly proclaiming a timeless truth. Be still and stand strong in the Lord. This call, far more than a mere suggestion, is a divine imperative rooted deeply in the scriptures, serving as a reminder of the unchanging nature of our God amid life's relentless challenges. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will join you in a fervent prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Be still and know that I am God, declares the Lord in Psalm 46 verse 10. Within these simple words lies profound wisdom and powerful instruction for each of us. The command to be still is not an invitation to inactivity, but rather a call to a confident, quiet strength that acknowledges and rests in God's sovereignty. In a world that incessantly demands our attention and action, the concept of being still might seem counterintuitive. We are often led to believe that strength is demonstrated through action, noise, and visibility. Yet the biblical notion of strength is radically different. It is in stillness, in quiet trust, that we discover the true strength that emanates from God. This stillness does not imply physical immobility, but a calm and composed spirit amidst life's storms. It involves anchoring our hearts in the truth that God is in control, even when our circumstances seem chaotic. In these tumultuous times, it's essential to embrace this divine stillness. It is about cultivating a serene and steady spirit that remains unshaken by external chaos. By anchoring ourselves in God's unwavering control, we find the peace and strength to navigate through any storm. This spiritual stillness empowers us to face life's challenges with a quiet confidence, knowing that our God, who is unchanging and all-powerful, is with us every step of the way. Therefore, let us stand firm in our faith, embracing the stillness that brings us closer to God's heart and allows His strength to flow through us. If you believe in the transformative power of God's presence in your life, let us unite in faith and prayer. Together, we will seek His blessings and strength, trusting that He will guide us through the storms and provide the peace and courage we need. Open your hearts to receive the divine blessings as we pray fervently in the name of Jesus. To stand strong in the Lord is to anchor ourselves in the essence of His character, His promises, and His word. It means holding on to the truth that He remains unchanging, even when everything around us is in flux. It is about having faith, trusting that He is orchestrating everything for our ultimate good, even when we cannot see it. This act of standing strong is not passive, but an active demonstration of trust in God's plans and purposes. It mirrors a heart that proclaims, Though He slay me, yet will I trust Him as reminded by James 1.3. In those moments when you feel overwhelmed, remember that being still means surrendering your struggles to the one who commands the winds and the waves. It involves releasing your need to understand everything and placing your trust in the one who comprehends all. It is about finding peace amidst chaos, assured that your God is with you. Therefore, my friends, as we encounter the uncertainties and storms of life, let us embrace this divine paradox. Let us be still, yet stand strong. Let us discover our strength in quietness and trust. For in this stillness and standing firm, we align ourselves with the Almighty, and there is no greater strength than that. As we reflect on this message, let us draw near to God in prayer, inviting His peace and strength into our hearts. Let us pray with confidence, knowing that he who has promised is faithful. Standing strong in the Lord means building our foundation on his unwavering character, his unbreakable promises, and his eternal word. It means remaining steadfast in the truth that God does not change even when our circumstances do. 
It requires faith, believing that He is working all things together for our good, even when we can't perceive it. This form of standing strong is not about being passive, but involves actively trusting in God's plans and purposes. It reflects a heart that can declare, Though He slay me, yet will I trust Him, as echoed in James 1 verse 3. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that being still involves surrendering your struggles to the one who controls the winds and waves. It means letting go of the need to understand everything and trusting in the one who understands all. It's about finding peace in the middle of chaos, confident that God is with you. As we navigate life's uncertainties and storms, let us adopt this divine paradox. Let us be still and yet stand strong. Let us find our strength in quietness and trust. In this stillness and standing firm, we align ourselves with the Almighty, the source of our greatest strength. As we ponder this message, let us approach God in prayer, welcoming His peace and strength into our hearts. Let us pray with assurance, knowing that He who promised is faithful. Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and earth, I approach your throne of grace with a heart overflowing with praise and gratitude. You are the Alpha and Omega, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. Your greatness is beyond comprehension, and your power is unrivaled. I am in awe of the wonders of your creation, and my soul rejoices in your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love, for the blessings you pour out upon us each day, and for your unwavering presence in our lives. I am deeply grateful, Lord, for the precious gift of life and the countless opportunities to experience your boundless grace. Thank you for the breath I take, the beauty of nature, and the love of family and friends. In this moment of profound gratitude, I humbly ask for your forgiveness for my sins and shortcomings. I acknowledge my failures and seek your mercy as I confess my transgressions. I also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment from my heart as you have taught us to forgive. Lord, in the stillness of this morning, I seek your peace amidst the storms of life. Teach me to be still and know that you are God, especially when turmoil surrounds me. As the waves of uncertainty crash around me, let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the quietness of this moment, I am reminded of your faithfulness and your promises. Help me to trust in your perfect plan and to rest in the assurance that you are in control, even when circumstances seem overwhelming. May your peace fill my heart and mind providing me with the strength and courage to face each day with confidence. Guide my steps, Lord, and lead me in your paths of righteousness. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your endless love, your abundant blessings, and your eternal presence. May your grace continue to sustain me, and may your peace reign in my heart, now and forever. Amen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I affirm that my inner peace remains unshaken by any storm, for you are my constant companion, my stronghold, and my protector. In moments of vulnerability, Lord, be my source of strength. Empower me to remain steadfast in you and in the strength of your power. I reject in the name of Jesus every spirit of fear or timidity. I bind the forces of darkness that seek to undermine my faith and determination. May your strength be made perfect in my weakness, and may I always remember that through you I can accomplish all things. Gracious Father, grant me discernment to navigate life's complexities with wisdom in every decision. Direct my steps and lead me along paths of righteousness. I declare that your word illuminates my path and guides my way forward. I reject uncertainty and hesitation, affirming clarity and divine guidance in all my endeavors. Let your wisdom be my constant guide, influencing my thoughts, words, and deeds. In times of discouragement, be my hope, O Lord. Let your joy be my resilience, and in times of sorrow, remind me of the eternal hope I have in you. 
I reject any sense of despair or hopelessness, standing firm on the assurance that joy comes in the morning through Jesus Christ. I denounce and restrain every spirit of distortion that endeavors to mislead and distort my path. Imbue my heart with unwavering faith and optimism in you, recognizing that my destiny rests securely in your care. Lord, when anxiety attempts to seize my heart, remind me that I am exceedingly triumphant through Christ who cherishes me. I reject every spirit of apprehension, for you have not bestowed upon me a spirit of fear, but of potency, affection, and a well-balanced mind. Confronted with challenges, let bravery surge within me, assured that you are beside me, never abandoning nor deserting me. Lord, I seek your remedial touch upon my existence. Mend me from every corporeal, emotional, and spiritual affliction. I affirm, in the name of Jesus, healing upon my physique and psyche. I denounce all kinds of ailment, illness, and frailty, believing that through your scourging, I am made whole. May your curative influence course through me, reinstating me to fullness. In a realm rife with division and discord, I petition for unity and affection. Bind together this congregation of adherence, Lord, in the ties of tranquility and fraternity. I rebuff the spirit of disunion and contention, proclaiming concord and comprehension in our interactions. May your affection serve as the adhesive that binds us, reflecting your affectionate essence. Lord, during periods of waiting, instill within me patience. Guide me to rely on your timetable assured that you bring forth all things beautifully in your appointed time. I reject restlessness and unease, steadfast in the knowledge that you labor behind the scenes for my benefit. May I patiently anticipate your actions with a resolute spirit, secure in your commitments and loyal to your promises. In moments of grief and anguish, I seek the joy of the Lord, which fortifies me. I denounce every spirit of sorrow and despair, announcing the exchange of mourning for the oil of joy. May the mantle of praise supplant feelings of heaviness, and let your joy be my continual companion, transforming my tears into rejoicing. Lord, as I offer this prayer alongside all who are listening, I express gratitude for every heart presently humbled before you. We join in unity, confident that you are amidst us as pledged. Together we intercede for one another, seeking your blessings, safeguarding, and direction. United in belief, we affirm triumph over every obstacle, placing our trust in your enduring love and authority. For my beloved ones, Lord, I earnestly invoke these blessings. May your tranquility, fortitude, optimism, bravery, restoration, forbearance, and jubilation overflow in their lives. Shield them from harm, direct their paths, Shower them with abundance, and may your presence manifest prominently in their daily experiences. Lord, I express gratitude for listening to and responding to my petitions. I rely on your benevolence and constancy, for yours is the dominion, the potency, and the splendor throughout eternity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you found solace in this prayer, please type Amen in the comments below. I affirm that all the blessings articulated in this prayer are now bestowed upon you in the name of Jesus. Remember, you can assist us in reaching more people and spreading the gospel by sharing this video with friends or family and clicking the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for additional content designed to uplift and inspire. Your support is greatly appreciated. You are blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to share your prayer requests in the comments section so that we may present them before God on your behalf, seeking blessings and triumph. Let other believers on YouTube and around the globe unite with us in prayer for you. Stand firm in faith as we approach God in prayer. All glory be to Him. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.